to my grandmother by frederick locker lampson for LibriVox.org, narrated by sean mckinley to celebrate grandparents day two thousand and six this relative of mine was she seventy and nine when she died by the canvas may be seen how she looked at seventeen as a bride beneath a summer tree her maiden reverie has a charm her ringlets are in taste what an arm what a waist for an arm with her bridal wreath bouquet lace farthingale and gay falbala were romney's limning true what a lucky dog you were grandpapa her lips are sweet as love they are parting do they move are they dumb her eyes are blue and beam beseechingly and seem to say come what funny fancy slips from between these cherry lips whisper me sweet sorceress in paint what canon says i mayn't marry thee that good-for-nothing time has a confidence sublime when i first saw this lady in my youth her winters had forsooth done their worst her locks as white as snow once shammed the swarthy crow by and by that fowl's avenging sprite set his cruel foot for spite near her eye her rounded form was lean and her silk was bombazine well i wot with her needles would she sit and for hours would she knit would she not ah perishable clay her charms had dropped away one by one but if she heaved a sigh with a burden it was thy will be done in travail as in tears with the fardel of her years overpast in a mercy she was born where the weary and worn are at rest oh if you now are there and sweet as once you were grandmamma this nether world agrees twill all the better please grandpapa end of poem this recording is in the public domain